Everybody, this your boy, you may soar, and we are back again with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. And we are now in the epilogue where we are controlling John. Trying to make a good living out of himself. lost the wheel I'm just gonna leave it up to the game <laughs> to change my direction because I suck at it right now man horses be gone Could have gave us some dialogue right here. Jeez. Something. I feel like I'm gonna run into Uncle. I'm interested to see what they have you do with John. Let's see how long this epilogue is. I heard it was pretty, pretty lengthy. I miss Arthur though. I miss Arthur so much. I want him back. I want him back. That last playthrough, that last episode was a tearjerker, man. An extreme tearjerker. Like, I like John. You know, I'm pretty sure if we played this first, I probably wouldn't care for John, but I liked John in Red Dead Redemption. But I like Arthur even more. <laughs> And I miss him. And playing with John is cool. Because you get to see what led up to Red Redemption. Like what he was doing before he got that established cabin. So. That's probably what they're going to act out. Do I have a gun? Do I? I do not. I do not have a gun. Damn. My hands give no damage. <gasps> Wait a second. Ain't that it? No, that ain't it. It look like it though. It looked like his house. From Rare Redemption. Horse. How the hell do you go backwards? I did not know that this whole game. Did not know that's how you go backwards. This horse is so ornery. Oh man. Now I gotta go through the flowers. <laughs> you Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. You send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, you looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned south. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, he's our boy. Lancelot. We're all one. Lancelot. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. 
Hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. Delicious. Oh, when's uh, Boss Meg gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> We know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Bye, bye. Wow. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. So, how am I supposed to go easy on him? I only got these hands. <laughs> Like I'm jumping the board, dude. Stop. You're getting out of that wagon one way or another. Excuse me, sir. Can't hear you when you ride off talking, you assholes. Oh, oh, oh what the hell? I got any food? Not much. Spanking the hell out this horse. <laughs> I don't like this horse. Give it the horse I was just riding on. <laughs> Why well, I gotta Thank sound you. like that? Whooping the hell you know, out that horse. Isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got, we got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. You work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. What they got to do with anything? Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return to Mom. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. Need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Okay. You got a whole house. Look at that. How much longer? Few days later. Pronghorn Ranch. Epilogue, part one. Damn, you walk out to the horse shitting? Oh, there's a possibility of dropping supplies? Didn't know that. Alright. Uh, I wanna shave Milton, the damn beard. Get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, Milton. Thank you, 
you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? We'll find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Damn, why everybody acting like dicks? <laughs> Come on this way. <laughs> Dang. I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Why her hair look different? Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton? How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. It's like he made me do it. He asked me to go do it. Come on, I'll do it. You? Jeez, be grateful. Sure. Why not? I don't know. I thought you was. I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellas. Well, where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north mostly. Been these parts before, but that was years ago. <laughs> it, it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, uh, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Yeah. So, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed in a bunch of things, like most men. Well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Anyway, here's the cows. All right, so I'm going to milk these cows. We used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. <laughs> oh, you ain't so bad. Almost got a pail full. Duh. I didn't need the visual. Hey, Pop. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all got our keep. 
Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Where are these people come from? <coughs> come on, son. Shovel shit now. Y'all gonna make me shovel shit? Oh, and it's so much yeah, shit. You get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Bye. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Oof. Come. Mm. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. You almost got me. Hold on. Ugh. Gunslinging to shit show. Great. Be careful. Oh. His music playing in the background. Beep. Look at this horse Beep. shit. <laughs> Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Who was that boy? Oh, oh, I just stepped in that shit. Oh. Gunsling in the shit shuffle. <laughs> Pursuit of the better life you want, same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here, survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Shave. I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> that ain't Arthur's hat. I'm shaving, can I? Damn! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Flew up in here. Good morning. Morning, baby. <laughs> I guess I can't shave. How'd it feel, boy? Doing some work for once in your life. Uh, fine, sir. I did okay. I'd like to see more of that from you. Damn, Jack. 
How you getting on? How's it look? You ate your breakfast yet? Ain't you got work to do? No one's watching the clock out there. That breakfast? Where that breakfast at? Shameless plug team. <laughs> Just kidding, Kia. What up, though? I knew this. I knew that was you. I had to look and see if it was you or not. But I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Your game is really low. Is it? Um. Hmm. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised that it is. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Hell no. Nah. Sure. Fix know it much yourself, about fence bitch. Building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? Mr. Dickens, the fuck you. off my back, bro. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. Maybe awful. it was just where you I were before. A word of it. Oh. It's a little better now. Okay. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free, that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. You dick. Sweating me and shit. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. All right, bro. I ain't slow. Chill out. Okay. That's it. Looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. You got work, Tadu boy. <laughs> got me out here busting sweats. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make a man. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Great hunk of Chuck. Oh shit! Run, Forest, run. Damn! Kick the shit out of me. Kick the shit out of me. Yeah, knock my damn face fence down. 
Ah! Son of a bitch. Fucked up trying to get this damn bull. No, you don't. Oh no, 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 no. Now, where are you going? Come on, Chill. Don't hit me. Don't 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 hit me. Don't don't hit me. Please don't hit me. But I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, Mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> he just got yeah. my head. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Bro. <laughs> Why did that jump feel like a cartoon though? When I was running from that bull. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't stop chasing me. <laughs> All I kept hearing in my head was meow. Oh. 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 oh man. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning up the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. 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 Get the place is tidy. Okay, Pa. See you later. Get the place is tidy. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> down, 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 down. I bet it was don't take damage from the bull. <laughs> I knew it. You got a kid now. <laughs> oh, let me... Tyler, is that you that just said that? That's how I know you haven't been paying attention to the story. <laughs> I'm not playing as Arthur anymore. I'm playing as John. UTF is John. The main character from Red Dead Redemption 1. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. Die and play my it or watch it. With this mare. Abe, sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. You need to watch this one and then go watch Red Deer Redemption. On, this is the prequel to that you. one. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? 
When Mr. Geddes goes into town, WTF happened to Arthur? Exactly for uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. How right. about you watch the videos too, and get first. caught up? any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'm waiting to growl. Hey. <laughs> you got some energy? Show me that. Everything you got, come on. Let's get a ladder up. Damn, this place got a lot of goddamn stamina. Reminds me of Lay. All right, good boy. I miss Lay. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. Where is he at? Well, how the hell do I get in there? Oh. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go <laughs> nice and slow. Did you kill your horse to you, murderer? No, I didn't kill my horse, you asshole. The horse? You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but... You sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll. Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but. But. Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two <laughs> yes, might sir. be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. All right, let him out then. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. 
I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Mom. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. Mr. Burrow. Kid, give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. I thought you was going to help me. <laughs> lady. Mr. Milton. I'm lady. Oh, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Damn. I don't know where he goes in town. And it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just to stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Oh, man. No. Oh. Oh, oh, there the legs. Now hold on. Reach around in there. And pull. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Did I just right. break a horse? We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Can I go wash Thank my you. hands? Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy, uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Ha! <laughs> they day. something else. Wow. What? <laughs> she said, uh. Whenever you feel relaxed and uh you know what I'm not even going there. <laughs> this lady literally just made a pass at me. After I just had my hand up a horse's hey, vagina. Jim. Sorry. So Don't touch This her. is what you want. Fake names. Which, Proud of you for stopping. Way, Dickens sees clean through. <laughs> Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Oh, don't touch my hands. Please don't touch my hands. Don't touch her. Him. You still got horse. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. <sighs> Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Can I shave? I don't like John with a beard. Round to the left. What do you see? Honey? Get on him. We're taking a ride. No, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Where are you going? How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. I mean, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. <laughs> now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a...
Speed up a light. There you go. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't so bad. Amazing sir. what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Wow. Wow. Dumbass LOL. Wow. They slowed him down. They didn't slow me down. You know what? Whatever. Wow. <laughs> then they said, Oh. Can we go home? Stay calm. This wasn't a checkpoint. Where, would you like Where was the checkpoint around? in this mission? They said restart mission or checkpoint. Maybe this strange. was goddamn the beginning of the mission. Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. Uh, you know. uh, this is not one of those missions I want to repeat. It was cute the first time, now it's just annoying. There are no checkpoints, uh, lol. All or nothing. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick. Yeah. What in the hell, yo? Jesus Christ. All right, where do you, where the how why the hell am I all the way over here? See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. They changed it up a little bit. This isn't how it played out the first time. I'm getting there. I should hope so. Oops. 
Hit the wrong button. Even faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go across this street. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Not again. No, not again. Not again. <laughs> they almost got me. They think they slick. Let his ass go win. Okay. On my go. Go. <laughs> it feels like I'm flying. <laughs> 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 uh, don't run over the bunny. <laughs> don't fuck around and get bucked off the horse, boy. I'm gaining. I'm gaining. Hey. I beat you. I beat you. I <laughs> well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Ha. <laughs> Whoa, I saw that noise. Whoa. <laughs> you wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So you had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen oh. to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! God damn it. I'll kick his head in, boy. Get up. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Oh, he's licking you, boss. You need help. Hey, boss, you need help. You need help, boss. All right, man. This is, uh, should probably give up now. Get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Now you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here! Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we calls. We'll be back. 
Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Bruh. Did <laughs> she get no on her? I don't know, man. Starting to feel like I should have just let Milton keep her ass. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Did I really drink all this water? Oh man, could I have stopped? Oh. When did I get hit? I don't even know. With Cho Thirsty S. Do not embarrass me. Smile and don't embarrass that man. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Oh, to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't she eye me like on? that? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, no, I'm good. You. Damn. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. <laughs> good night, Ma. Good night, Pa. What was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stove. Bring that palm. It's over. Oh, whoa, whoa. So. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Well, I guess we're getting your cattle. Yeah, I guess we are. Can you go to Tom's course? Yes, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. Little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? You said it to us. We. I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Wait, you know what I'm looking for. Do I got all my weapons? Oh no. I don't. But this works. I'll lead the way. It's gonna be the last we hear out of him. Yeah! Yeah! Right!
I like how my horse just drifted out the way. So, uh, hey, yo, Mr. Abel. I hear you was talking all that shit. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more on the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Boy, let's go. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up the pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Y'all suck. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you lived. Where you going? I tried being reasonable. This music got me hype. It just shoot him. <laughs> yeah, I think I just shot his chin off. God damn. Bye bye. He did. <laughs> Shot his head off. Oh, excuse me. Who is this fella? <laughs> I reckon you don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Hey, hey, where you going? <laughs> Damn. Hey, hey, boy, come here. Let me talk to you for a second. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you thought. Oh, there's an. Oh, there's another. Bye bye. <laughs> Did he just run out? Damn. <laughs> oh, they held up in the bar. <laughs> it was fun, y'all. We got more. Where the rest of them at? <laughs> Shot me in my arm. Where you at? Oh, you in the barn? Oh, I got something for his ass. Hey. Hey. I know you're in here. Oh, shit. Oh, get off me. Damn. We can finish this, bro. Oh, shit. Whoop. 
You want that ass beating again, dog? You want these hands again? Oh shit. Oh, you, what you been working out? Oh, oh. What are you a, a saying? Goddamn! Beat your ass, you came back stronger. Oh shit. Don't do it. Damn! You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my shit. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her. Don't do it, John. Put the hand, put the gun down. Put the gun down, John. Y'all really gonna make me shoot him? I ain't got a choice. Since you won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> oh, this was my hat. Abigail about to be so mad. Say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come in. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. She mad as hell. What? what? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Can't win, John. But just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. John Milton rides again? What? Oh, that was a choice. He pulled out the shotgun, so I thought I was supposed to use it. Man, you don't tell me these things. Booyah. I don't know what was the point of doing that. Now I gotta go see Abigail and she about to be mad. That's a fence, not a door. <clears throat> How you getting on? Surviving. Fatherhood for idiots. Thank you. Here. 
I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is... No. Undertaker's like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. Ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but... I thought maybe... We could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton! Milton? Ma'am? Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in... Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Yeah. You take care now. Of course. So. We not moving. We stopped. Just, just get out and get back in. Because I don't know what that was about. I can't go. What's wrong with this horse? Okay. I don't know what that was about. I mean, boss asked me to go do it. I mean, the guy yeah. gave us this opportunity. Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Strawberry. That's a strong ass horse. Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. 
It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. And I trust you not to drive off with him. Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. So is it bad that I want to go right. kill people? Here we are. <laughs> I want to go back to gunslinging. Fuck this ranch hand shit. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi, I'm here to name. My name, uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay, John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Ain't this Abigail how Red Dead started? Oh, uh, it's yeah, somewhat. We, are. we ain't at that part yet. Also, I'm for where pick up Red Dead for picks Pronghorn up. Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes. Uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. I will help you out. That one guy. These. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. What about that guy that was Anything looking okay, funny? Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I picked before. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But <laughs> nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Hmm. I guess he did see my man as I looked up. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Everybody looking funny. Why are everybody looking funny? I don't like this one bit. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Get up. I feel like we're gonna see somebody else out on the road. This guy. Who's this? Just a bit Sorry, sir. Now. Is that a question for me? No. No. Keep driving. There you no. go. Yeah. Why is this guy following me? Did we lose? Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. But where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse. 
horse is getting skittish. It'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh shit. He called his people. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move? Or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I got time for these games. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. In all honesty, <laughs> I was not trying to shoot him. I was trying to do L2. I need you to hold it together. Can we get home quicker, please? You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. I shouldn't be laughing, but I just, I find it a little funny. Are you John Marston? You sure look like him. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was actually trying to do some dialogue and I hit R2 by accident. And it instantly shot him. So at that point, I just had to commit. <laughs> oh, man. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as ranch boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore. The horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> No, it wouldn't. Mm. I don't remember the ranch being so far away. I guess because I flew back, flew to Strawberry, and now it's like. And we're back. I still can't speed up, so it must be some more dialogue coming up, maybe. Okay, here we are. 
That was an uh, eventful trip. <laughs> Whipping the fuck out this horse. <laughs> Go say hi to your mother. Go say hi to your mother. Damn! What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! <laughs> I the dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. How can you be mad at me? <laughs> How can you be mad at me? <laughs> hey, Mr. Jim? Those freaking bounty hunters. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there. In near the house. Those bounty there hunters. Is. How hey. are you gonna get mad at Thanks, me? Babe. Oh man. What do you think you want? Can't win I have for no shit. Idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. <laughs> I see him. Thanks, Abe. Who this? Uh, sir? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. <laughs> got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Speak to Abigail. Sadie Adler. I be damned. Oh damn, I'm about to run up in somebody else's house. Hey, I bust up in there. Oh, she didn't took the kid and left. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Damn, she wrote my man's a dear John letter. She did! <laughs> And his name is John. I'm dead. That's the title. That's the title. Thank you, Ty. That's the title. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. <laughs> that don't surprise me. What'd she do? 
Catch you with a showgirl? I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just that ain't T.Y. You know? Brew. I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. I guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? <laughs> a star. Probably. Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. John is John is that guy. <laughs> his wife just took his son and dipped, and he like, well, it looks like I gotta get this money together so we can I can get us a place. Like, they, like, your family just left you. What you? What you mean? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. That's the real thing to do. <laughs> I just find it funny. He wasn't mad or nothing. He was just like, gotta make this bread. <laughs> I can't even milk right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> he like, well, it looks like I just gotta save some money up and buy her that ranch. You don't even know where she at. <laughs> This is the Wild West, my dude. Like, how you even? I don't know. I mean, Miss Adler found us, so maybe it ain't that hard. I just find it very hilarious. I'd be like deuces. Time to get to these whores. <laughs> It's like <laughs> he put in that work, though. Look at him. A few months later, that's her fool. <sighs> You know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Jim uh, Milton? Thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. No, I thought you were going to turn around and ask him something else. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. How did Dickens become a last name? No, my last name gonna be Dickens. <laughs> what? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Why well, like you got a $20 bill sure. on the suspenders? I'll just get I know it's his chest pocket. Pow! But... I'm right, right here. Pow! <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my hmm. wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Do hmm? you believe a man can change, sir? I Where actually know a guy named John Dickens. I guess I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> I've <laughs> Mr. Tried to Dickens. Good hand. I've worked hard to secure John Dickens. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, hmm? Huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. <laughs> I'm just joking, son. <laughs> just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. 
Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Yeah! Good shit, John. I mean, Jim. Boy. <laughs> Cowboy fit. It's time to get nice. He about to slick up. Oh shit. It's the John I know. We need to get a shave, John. Why he take the gun out though? <laughs> I got all my weapons. You know I gotta ride with two guns. Oh, there it is. There's the other gun. Two guns, bitch. All right, this is the gun I'm thinking of. Yep, it sure is. Whoa, where am I going? Oh, I'll go see Sadie first. This music. This music? <laughs> For why? Where she got me going? Valentine, and then the bank is in Blackwater. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go here first. About to run into a rocket ship. Don't kill the bunny. Back to Valentine. See Miss Sadie Allen. within a minute and 30 minutes first of all oh <laughs> how was the John in that picture's face shaved cuz I can't figure out how to shave my goddamn face uh, put that gun up <laughs> I'm just riding with my gun out Are we there yet? The only thing I miss doing this whole epilogue thing is like the random people that would 
that would pop up. I'm not getting any of that anymore. And I, I miss those interactions. Yeah, why Valentine so far? How much money do I have? Twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm broke as fuck. What is wrong? Oh, we killed something. <laughs> Don't kill another squirrel. Decided to name this city Valentine. And why ain't got no barber shop? Yep. Shut up, dog. Why don't you watch it? Hello, don't hit that guy. Oh. Careful. Oh. You got a problem? Hey, look, sir. Whoa. Whoa. Shit. So ain't nobody gonna arrest that guy? Did they arrest him? <laughs> I think they arrested him. Am I supposed to know you? Well, I think that's her. But I, it's not, I don't think it's aggravating because of what just happened. So I'm going to go here and get my hair cut. If I can. Shouldn't have had that last one. Oh, uh, no? Okay. I want my hair cut. What you do? I was like, what you do last night? Hey, welcome here. All right. The saloon in I mean barbershop is in the saloon though. Alright, let's do something about this facial hair. Ooh. John with no hair is a no go. That's the John I know. Ooh. Ooh, John. You've seen better days. Mexican John? <laughs> no. No. Definitely not. Dave Lincoln? <laughs> uh, the goatee? Doesn't look too bad. All this here soup strainer and got inspired, huh? The Josiah. <laughs> Mutton. The pencil stash. The apron. <laughs> now that worked for Arthur, not for. Hello. Not for John. Well, it kind of does. Kind of does work for John. John just got an ugly face. I'm sorry, but John's just ugly. <laughs> I'm a. I'm gonna stick with tradition and and just give him that. Jeez, he looks like he looks like Gaston from fucking Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, let's do that. I bet you didn't know you could look so respectable, huh? Something like that. Hair. Styles. Okay. Um uh... 
said, John, you just ugly, bro. <laughs> Swept back fade. <laughs> Never saw John with, with a low cut. I kind of like it. But that I don't like. <laughs> Let's go with the buzz. Looking mighty fine. Take it down even more. And then Paul made that shit. Damn near a work of art. Oh damn, I did just spend money. <laughs> money that I need. Alright. <laughs> I'm sitting here supposed to be saving buddy. I just blew it all. To freshen up. Nice. I need to see Sadie, but what I gotta do? How do I get it to pop back up? I thought going to the barber shop and doing that would get it to come back. Uh, it won't let me do it though. Should I go like past time or something? Um, I don't know. Maybe I just gotta leave far enough and come back. Oh shit! We do get the red. Oh. You took three innocent lives, and for that, the law demands that you shall pay with your own. Do you have any last words? Before you meet your judgment. Yeah, I wish I could kill them all over again. I love you, baby. Be good, son. We will not tolerate detritus like this in our community. Justice prevail today. <laughs> Damn, he got the hell on, too. Damn. Then they just gonna leave him hanging there, though? Damn. <laughs> Cold-blooded. Alright, look. I'm just gonna sleep at the end. Maybe that'll make it go by. Uh, excuse me. You well, partner? Oh. I was trying to make you feel better, miss. You ain't gotta be an asshole. Good to see you back. Meat just all out in the open and shit. Hello. Good to meet you. Welcome. You got any room? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I just said I was gonna spend no more money, but I just fucking ordered a room. Oh man. Like my man's was getting raped. Oh, that was a great pop in my arm. All right, it's back up. Dude, what is going on with that guy upstairs? Oh, 
Let's try this again. I thought I told that you was her. It, See, she left. To myself, who this little girl thinks she telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What that? God. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. On Marston. It's crazy, bitch. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. He was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? Nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Bruh. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Who are you telling me? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard yes. someone sounded like him but about a year back. Okay. We always say it. If we found him. I know what we said we do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Back in the day where you could just stab a mofo in the hand for talking shit and don't nobody do shit about it. Nowadays, <laughs> that shit don't fly. I'm glad they brought me back to Strawberry instead of me having to do it. So like going around. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers 
get you resort town. Yeah. I'm sure. Try in the welcome center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. You mean the hotel? Damn. You uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, in room three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. <laughs> Weirdo. That's my man's fault for not changing his name. Room three. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well. Oh, stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Did All right, that didn't work the way I thought it would. You're a good silly. We got to get after it. Remember, we want him alive though. I know. He went right. Slow it down. Gone. I'm about to run out of stamina. Look out. Then come on and talk to us. That horse don't look so good. I can't catch him. My man. Mr. Kirk, real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? Uh, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan from the property. Might make him happy to see I've got a boss. No, so I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon of Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Cool. All right, girl. Unfortunately, we are all out of time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that 
notification bell on the side so you can be notified of all future content, including the last few episodes of Red Dead Redemption 2 and the upcoming Kingdom Hearts. With that being said, I'm pretty sure maybe I'll be able to wrap this up in the next episode. We'll see. It might be two episodes. I just know we're right at the end, so... Once again, thank you all, and I will see you all in the next episode. You may as out. Whoa!